Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. Tomorrow, actually, we're gonna be doing a burn. So I did a lot of clearing. This was all filled with trees and brush. I've been cutting down stuff using this and also a an ax, but I've got a big brush pile, so we're gonna be doing a burn soon now. It is raining right now, which is perfect, so tomorrow, actually, we're gonna be doing a burn. Today's Friday, it's gonna be Saturday tomorrow, so it's a good time for me to do it. But I'm cutting down some bigger branches, so into smaller stuff like this and then we're throwing that on but i've also separated this into a couple different piles because i do not want to be burning a giant pile there's a lot of brush as you can see that giant thing here we've almost finished this this is where originally it was it was right here we've been separated into a couple different piles we'll start this and we'll throw you know start throwing some brush on top once that burns down a little bit. I started doing this and my neighbor came over and was like, what are you doing with the saw there? And so he brought over his chainsaw and we did a little bit. But as you can see, this one's pretty well broken down. I don't need to cut that. So we can just throw that into the pile that we're gonna feed this with. But this is kind of as far out away from any trees or anything. Boy, it's getting really, really rainy. I'm not afraid of anything catching fire. At least that's the hope. So that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. I'll bring you guys along, but that's what I've been doing is just cutting stuff with my saw and my ax. And like I said, I borrowed a chainsaw um, from my neighbor over here. Very nice guy, let me borrow it. So um, I was able to get a little bit more done than just with the hand saw. In fact, you can see I'm trying to get out a bunch of these bigger logs bigger stuff so that way it doesn't burn too long the smaller stuff will burn quicker i've also got a whole bunch over here that i was able to cut up with the chainsaw and the handsaw so we've got a big pile here and this is junk wood this is wood that i'll put like we're going to end up building a fire pit over there somewhere so um, when we do this will be ready for it but here this is most this is all mesquite which is great for barbecue and I just got a barbecue pit, so we're gonna be using this. And you can see I used the chainsaw here for these pieces. That really helped a lot because this it would have taken forever with this. Okay, so today we're starting the burn. It is barely light outside, but I am digging up a little trench around this that I am going to make sure that there's no grass now. It's going to take me a little while. I'm just trying to create a barrier. Unfortunately, I've got a very, very rocky clay type soil. Now, because it rained, it's a little easier, but just rocks, rocks, rocks everywhere. All right, so I got a trench dug around. I know it's not super wide and fire can jump right over it, but it's gonna help. But what I'm gonna do next is I've got a rake and I'm just gonna rake all the stuff on the edge, any kind of stuff I see out of the way. Just any anything that could possibly burn. So now I'm gonna get the hose ready. First, I'm Making sure my chickens have water since I'm gonna be using this hose all day. Their water gets a little dirty, so every morning I gotta come and clean it out. You just hose it off, it's good to go. So I've got these beds in the way of the hose just getting straight out there. So I'm gonna start bringing it out like this. And it's not gonna reach get about there Come on I gotta bring a little bit more of it I mean it's a hundred foot hose but so if you haven't followed the channel before this is what I mainly do just growing my veggies and talking about the 
birds, my my chickens and stuff. It's just kind of a mini homestead kind of situation here. So um, if you ever want to check out other videos, I'll link a couple in the description section, some of my favorite ones. So I'm going to turn off the water because I need to add an extension to my hose. It's nice and misty, almost no wind, so this is perfect for a burn. And it's been raining for a couple days, so everything is pretty well saturated. I don't see, even if we get some, a little bit of wind, I mean, obviously you don't want any, but even if a little bit, I would think any of the embers are not gonna catch very much on fire because everything's really wet. Oh man, that's on there pretty good. Well, I wonder if running the extension, starting with this, would be better. I can't get that off right now, and I don't have a tool on me. Let's see if this is faster. All right. Let's bring this over to the other end. All right, it's starting to Missed rain a little bit, so that's good. There we go. 200 feet of hose. Should be plenty. Let's hose everything down all around it. All right, guys. So let's see if we can start it. I doubt we can. I haven't thrown any lighter fluid or anything on there. I'm going to see if I can do it without. Um, be really helpful if I could. Yeah, I can't even get the leaves to go. Let's see. I mean, I don't know where. How much shoot. Tool did you put on there? Uh, just a little douse. Let me see. I know, like, right around here. Uh, I'm going to go get a little cup or something. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, that was way more than I put. <laughs> I guess I didn't do enough. Should I start throwing stuff on top to get it going or no? You can throw some lighter stuff on there where the fire's at. Yeah. Let's see if I can find some real light stuff. It's just not gonna go, huh? Oh, it's, it's, it's gonna be stubborn, that's for sure. Get something light up there, right? Yeah, that lighter stuff like that. Well, just the hotter it gets it's just going to yeah, burn it's, through that's, it's, so it's it's burning all the moisture out of the wood yeah that's why it's not lighting up i appreciate your help man yeah i enjoy it oh it looks like it's going yeah. i would say we're we're about there huh yeah i just keep I keep feeding the top of it. Okay. And so another thing, and you didn't have to go and dig up the ground. Oh, I don't mind. Yeah, I use that, but and it doesn't so, pull up the. And and it doesn't have to be perfect. You basically just, you know, if you had nice gas, you would just go. And sure, sure. For two or three foot like this, all the way. Uh, down. I went too far. Well, you're, you're too far away from the fire. Ah. Plus the little section like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? The fire's, I guess, probably not going to jump that. Yeah. But, like a lot of times when the fire starts, it didn't spread from the fire. Well, I think we got it started. Cool. We got some, like, sap oozing out. Foamy. It's really weird, but, yeah, we're burning down quite a bit. Got most of this all done. Just got this now. All right, guys, we are pretty much done. I've got all this picked up. I've got a few little scraps, odds and ends that I gotta look around for, throw in. 
Um, I am keeping the big wood pile for extra stuff, but I gotta push some of this in. You know, what probably would have been best is my pitchfork for this, but this is working, so. Oh, that was too far. You know, every single one of the little brush and sticks and stuff, you see these thorns, they're everywhere. You walk around here, they go right through your boots. Um, they go through your shoes. They stick in my dog's paw. They're just terrible, so it'll be good to get rid of them. But yeah, cutting down all this brush everywhere, that was a big job, but it's good to get it off my, my lawn here and I'll be able to start Opening this up, maybe bring some more, grow some more veggies right there. That'll be a good spot, actually, because that pile of brush sat for a while. We've got some good microbial growth in here. I saw a bunch of stuff. You can see this white stuff. That's all mold growing and kind of helping break down stuff. So this is going to be a super rich, nutrient-dense dent area to grow some veggies. So I'm pretty excited about that. Got sticks that I forgot to throw in that pile. I'm going around gathering is what I can. <laughs> Hopefully there's enough residual heat to get that going. I'm pretty wiped out. It's been a long morning. I haven't even had breakfast yet, but it's okay. Making sure I'm getting this done is very important. But I'm just going around if I see any dead brush that I haven't picked up yet just kind of throwing it in the fire and this is going to end up making my property a lot safer also so i won't have any fire hazards all around i did cut some of these trees so might as well get these up but yeah the last couple weeks this is pretty much what i've been doing once the temperature dropped a little bit around here i was uh able to start you know it's hard with 105 degree temperatures to do this but i was going through clearing everything open up the backyard make it look a lot nicer it was a long time coming we moved in and i didn't have enough time before it got super hot to start doing this so i'm happy to be able to work on it now and get this ready for my kids to play in the backyard and so i want to mention i think i forgot to say this in the beginning before you start a burn not that I'm a pro. Please don't listen to anything I just did today because first off, I am not a professional. This is the first time I've done this. Okay, but before you do, call the fire marshal if you got one in your area. Otherwise, like a sheriff's office. At least here in Texas, you must call the sheriff's office. Let them know you're going to do a burn. Right now, we're in a burn ban, but they had me sign something. They came by, inspected it, and made sure it was fine. They said I could go ahead and do it. Just make sure it's not really windy, which it's not. There's no wind today, so... It was perfect, a good day. So that's the things you want to look for, but you definitely want to call and let the authorities know you're going to do a burn. Because what can happen is people can call and say, hey, there's a fire. And then police come or you know, fire department comes and then you end up having to pay for that, um, I would think, since you didn't call. So um, let them know, they put it in the books. If someone calls, says there's a fire around you know, in this area or wherever, they'll know, hey, we've got one going. So don't listen to me, look up what the requirements are in your area, call the fire marshal or the uh, sheriff's office or police department or whatever, let them know and ask what they recommend. Um, they might even send, like mine, they sent someone out to inspect, so. All right, so we have a little bit of wind coming and I was gonna let this burn down. And I mean, it's pretty much burnt down, but I am gonna stop it. So, no, let me, I, you will in a minute. So we're gonna, all right, you can calm down. It's just getting air out of the thing. All right, we don't want to go too much, hon, because I still want it to kind of simmer inside and get a lot of the small stuff. So yeah, let me see this side. We're going to go on this side. Yeah, all right. That's probably good, bud. It's probably good. Yeah. Good. All right, so it is now 11.30. This has been going, I think we stopped right around 
10 so it's been about an hour and a half since we put anything on um, maybe 10 30 when we stopped but at least an hour hour and a half we hosed it down i mean there's still some smoldering going on but it looks pretty good the wind did pick up we've got a little bit you can see the branches moving but it's not super windy so i think i feel like i can leave this now go inside have some breakfast eat a little bit but yeah that whole pile gone everything is gone so backyard looks a lot better and i did call the sheriff's department to let them know i was done because that's something that they requested so again your area might be different make sure you ask them what what you need to do check out some of my other videos thanks for watching i will see you guys on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind